Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas day today. I'm really looking forward to it myself and we'll even have a service at church at 10 a.m. and I hope you'll either come or make us a part of your Christmas celebration by tuning in online. Uh, our scripture for today in our daily reading is the scripture that I'm actually preaching on last night on Christmas Eve and that's from Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 25, and this is Matthew's relating of uh, the birth of Jesus. And all through this week, uh, our scripture readings and my reflections will be related to events around the birth and the early days of Jesus. And our verse for the day is verse 20 from Matthew chapter 1, which says, But just when he, that's Joseph, just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. And then we hear the promise reflecting the scripture that you shall call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Uh, Joseph is uh, kind of the definition, I think, of the strong, silent type. Uh, you think of that in, in movies, right? The strong, silent type. We never hear a word that Joseph says in the Gospels. We hear words of Mary. We're going to hear uh, from her later this week. And, uh, but Joseph never says anything. So all we have to judge Joseph on are his actions and what he does. And Joseph is a man who is just He's righteous, he's thoughtful, he's considerate, he's strong, he's spiritual, he's responsive. Uh, Joseph, I think, doesn't get enough credit, uh, really, uh, for his role. And as tradition reflects, we, we believe Joseph died before Jesus became an adult because we don't hear of him when Jesus begins his ministry. Um, but he plays a crucial, crucial role. And it's his faithfulness that enables the whole rest of the story to unfold. So as you celebrate Christmas Day, and obviously we're celebrating the birth of Christ, and we're praising God that God is with us uh, in human form in the birth of Jesus, uh, don't forget to say a word of thanks also, not just to Mary, who gets a lot of credit, deservedly so. She's a remarkable woman. It's this teenage girl who gives birth to Jesus. But don't forget Joseph standing there in the background, faithfully responding to the word of God that comes to him, often from a divine messenger, both before and after the birth of Christ. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas day, and we'll see you tomorrow.